What up, what up, welcome back to the channel, I'm Mordai J and we are locked in, this is episode 12 of Ready to Love. Now we know last week there was a little dilemma, AJ, he wanted Kyra, he got rid of Alexis. Kyra brought up a little bit of drama between her and Liz only to find out that Jason didn't want Kyra. He wanted Liz the whole time. And this week we pick up right there and also we get to meet everybody's parents. But before we get into that, shout out to the notification gang. If you're new to the channel you want to be a part of this, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Hit that like button, it's the easiest thing you can do. 50 subscribers away from 6,000. We right there. But this week we get to meet the family. And if you remember, Kyra told AJ, if my mom says no, then it's gonna be hard for me to say yeah. Kyra, if you don't want him, just say AJ, I don't wanna be here. We know you want Jason, but Jason wants Liz. So let's jump into it. This is episode 12, Ready to Love. The first group we have is Miss V, Vernicia, and we've got Joelle. Now, what she does is she brings her mom, her step pops, I think she said 31 years, and she has one of her children there. If her children like you, then good. If not, then they don't. And this is a teenager, so it's hard like to get in there when you're dating a woman that got a teenage kid. I'm like, hey, dog, y'all a little bit big in here. We might have to get to these one day, but... Kids seem like he's cool, and her step pops, he seems like a firm man. He's really going to see what Joel's about. They jump right into it. Joel, do you think you're the man for my, you know what I'm saying, for our daughter? He's like, oh, yeah, man. She's not only good on the outside, she's beautiful on the inside. So I think I'm ready for that. But then her daughter asks, what about with the kids, you know, being a father figure for three more? And Joel says, yeah, man, I'm ready for that. The, the ready-made family, that's what I'm with, you know? So because I already have two kids myself. So if I already have my two kids and I'm treating them and loving them, it's going to be easy to bring another three. And the stepdad was like, yeah, we got a big family. So, hey, if you can handle that, then good. Because two more, they ain't going to do nothing but just make us a bigger family. So as of right now, it looks like this relationship is going to work out. The parents, they feeling them. He's saying all the right answers. Hey, why not? Make it happen. Jason and Liz is up next. Now, Liz's family like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we ask any questions? She's like, yeah, just don't scare them all. And the brother was like, hey, can I grill them? Because, you know, I got to make sure my sister is straight. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jason shows up. It seems like everybody from the start, they look good. They look happy. They, we're going to see where it goes. And he jokes he jokes around I'm like, hey, y'all already prayed over the table? Let, let, let's go ahead and pray. <laughs> That's something I would have done. After Jason hit the prayer, I would have looked around and I seen the brother say, oh, man, you good. You already hit a three and he put up the field goal is good. I would say, oh, man, this is going to be easy. This dude talking about it. you hit a three. No, this is it's good. That's a field goal or kicking three. This would be easy. This would be an easy date. Listen, brother, he, hey, he did what he's supposed to do. He grilled him. All right. You about this religion and stuff. That's what we see. Which one of your favorite scriptures? He's like uh, Matthew 13. They would have asked me, I'd have been like, man, all of them. I can't recite none of them off my head, but all of them. That's the only thing I mess up with is with the trying to uh, quote some things from the Bible. Liz's sister asks, are you, are you confident in this woman? We see you're attracted to her. You want to be with her, but are you sure? Jason like, yeah, man, she just showed me everything I wanted to see. Liz is over here blushing and stuff. And the other sister. So Terry is the sister in the pink. The other sister, she's like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, the <laughs> Terry, she heard him. She's like, okay, that's good. But the other sister's like, I got to dig a little deeper on this boy here. Gentlemen, for those that are inexperienced, make sure when you leave, you shake every man's hand, you shake every woman's hand, and go for a hug if they allow it. If not, just shake their hand and tell them, nice to meet you. You see Jason is going around the table. Just little things like that you guys need to stay on top of because some of you guys just get up, all right, I'll holla, and it ain't going to work. Next up, we got Amber and Chris. Now... This time, Amber's going to be meeting Chris and his two brothers. Amber, she's saying she's a little nervous. And you know, boys, hey, I'm going to tell my brother exactly what I see. And be like, hey, bro, I think you did watch out for that. Because, hey, you got to always look out for your brother. So we're going to see how Amber does with this. All right, we starting off. Now, I don't know if these two gentlemen are twins or what, but it's Keenan and I forgot the other one's name. But the two brothers, they own it. So 31, head on your shoulders, beautiful woman. Why hasn't anyone wiped you up? You know what her response was? I haven't let anybody. We know who your ex is. You just ain't picking the right one. So don't say you ain't letting nobody because your, your ex, we found out he was gay by, I don't know what it is, but we know about your past. Keenan said, oh, well, since you haven't let anyone wife you up, it must be, is there a character flaw with you that we don't know about that my brother might need to be informed on? And she's like, oh, you're a lawyer. They're going to ask these questions. You should be able to handle this. But we all have flaws. 
Let's see if she's gonna admit to any of her flaws. She did kiss Ron. The other brother's name is Keyshawn. And what he asked is, is this real? And the reason he's asking this, and the reason the uh, Keenan asked, is there any flaws? Is because they know their brother and Chris has probably made bad decisions when it came to women before. So what they're doing is trying to figure this out right now. If she can't answer these questions, Chris, we advise you to stay away from this one. He may have dated two or three women before this where they were like, hey, bro, don't don't date them. And he just got called up because he was attracted to him. So I see what these two brothers are doing because real friends and real brothers, they're going to look out for each other. And they're doing a hell of a job with this. Couldn't ask for anything better. She doesn't just give a yes. She goes into detail and she says, well, outside of this, we have a, in reality, we have a connection and we're working through things and we're going to get there. We have expressed some things to each other that we normally wouldn't open up and say to others. So yes, this is real. I would have just been looking for a yes or a no, you know what I'm saying? To see what the answer would be. Because when you had this explanation ready, it's just, hmm, I don't know about this one. When I tell you I'm good, I am good. Exactly what I was just explaining. Keenan says, well, that same game was just ran on Chris last season, and it turned out he got left high and dry and kicked off the show. So the answer was good, but that response was just, oh, I already had this plan just in case. It's just, is it real or is it not? See what I'm saying? I, I don't just be talking. I, I, I live this. I live this life. And you got Chris over here in the overalls. Chris, my dog, shout out to KG Smooth. He got his overalls on. Don't believe me, just watch. <laughs> Chris is like, man, I got one. But his brothers is like, you gotta watch this one. Next up is Kyra and AJ. We get to meet Kyra's mom and we get to meet Kyra's sister. Hey, Kyra's sister. M-O-E-D-O-T-J, just DM me on Instagram, I reply. But we know that Kyra wasn't really feeling AJ and she was kind of jealous of Liz and she was watching Jason. Like, man, I really wanna be over there right now, but I'm stuck with AJ. And she did say, if her mom says she doesn't like AJ, then it's going to be hard for her to say yes. So she might be depending on her mom to go ahead and say she doesn't like her. So she can say, oh, well, my mom didn't, wasn't really feeling them. I could break up when we don't have to talk anymore. That's normally what happens. <laughs> for AJ, his questions are chopped up and they're coming at us fast. First, Mama Kyra was talking about, what do you think my daughter wants? The friend's talking about, are you fun? Then the mama's saying, what is your relationship with your mom? And he's like, oh man. So he's getting bombarded with questions, but you gotta play it cool. Give the easy answers. Cause you can take your time to answer this. And he's he's answering them from, from the right part, but looking at Kyra, it's like, mm, I really don't wanna be here with AJ, but I'm gonna smile and you know, drink my wine and pretend it. I think I'm the only one that peeped it. The mom said, are you a romantic? AJ was like, oh yeah, kinda. Kyra like, She's thinking about him. Nah, man, he ain't pay for that meal. Now, you know, this friend slash big sister, she knows about that incident. She knows that he didn't pay that night. And he knows that that was a big thing in Cairo. So she's probably asking these questions like, mm hmm, we're going to find out. It's a tough situation, AJ. And Cairo's like, I don't know what AJ is doing because women would be mad at him, but he's talking to him. He got her mom and her sister laughing. Because it's easy to talk to a mom, especially a mom that's looking for a good guy for her daughter. So AJ, he's saying everything that's right. But it seems like Kyra, she wants her mom to dislike AJ so she can have a reason to say, oh, I'm good on AJ. I can't. My mom wasn't feeling it. But Mama Kyra over there cracking up. AJ doing his thing. From what we know, AJ seems like a good guy. He had that one mishap. Now, Mama Kyra is talking about, oh, yeah, it's a go. But sister friend. Corey, she's Cora. She's like, I don't know. It doesn't seem like you two actually know each other. And that's what Kyra wants to hear. Now she's going to pass up on an opportunity with a man that's trying to make things work with her because she wants Jason and Jason then moved on. This happens time and time. But fellas, when you see that and you notice it, just move on. Now I've been preaching since episode one. AJ should not have tried to get back with Kyra after the incident they had before the show. At that point, it was just over with. The friend knows what happened and she's going to always be negative towards you because she's going to be on Kyra's side. Now, the mom, she doesn't have no dog in this fight. So she's just going to be like, from what you're answering, this sounds good. But hey, the girl code, they're going to stick together. Next, we get to meet Amber. She has an older brother, 
an older sister and a childhood friend, which is basically like her sister. But one thing I heard from Amber was, hey guys, I've been dating somebody. And everybody's looking like, what, you've been dating somebody? Now, every other contestant, when we meet their family, they say, hey, you know such and such that I've been dating, you're finally gonna meet them. So for Chris, this should be a red flag. She hasn't mentioned you to anybody in her family, the closest ones to her. And also, she can't say that this is real if no one knows about you. It kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it? All right, we got Joel's sister, BB, and we got Butter, his niece. Now, just like I was saying with Amber, they already knew about, you know what I'm saying? They already knew about Miss V. They were like, are you sure about this girl that's coming over? You know, he like, yeah. Now, with him, he's mentioned his family to Miss V because she was like, oh, you're Butter? So see, they actually had a conversation. So this is a little bit realer than what amber was talking about with chris they didn't even know each other's family members so it's like at least vernicia and joel they had spoke about this first question they asked chris is how many serious relationships have you been in his reply is four now the sister is saying oh that that's a lot if i'm not mistaken he's 40 something so a three-year relationship here maybe a four year here five year here six year that's still not even 20 years yet so i mean four serious relationships in let's just say 20 years of adult life that's pretty good man i mean if you didn't get married shouldn't really be with somebody that long if you're not gonna get married but hey man four relationships for a man that ain't that ain't bad i do like the question the sister asked now she did say that amber is a superstar of our family now we know she's probably the, she's the youngest she's a successful lawyer so for them it's like she works her tail off chris now you can't just be having her work and doing all this stuff so what she wants to know is how can you bring her back down to earth and chris chris's reply is perfect he's like i'll never let her work herself into a grave so he's gonna pretty much when she comes home hey Take a break from work. And it's just going to be KG smooth at that point. So that's a good answer. I like I like the sister asking that question, though. Again, we know Amber's out here. She's getting it. I applaud her for that. Young black attorney. That's what we need. It looks good. But the sister's like, hey, you're not going to be jealous or like because she's making more than you. She's working harder than you. And Chris says, oh, no, nah, I'm cool. You know, dudes, they, they just couldn't handle a woman like that. A black queen goddess. You know what I'm saying? They couldn't handle that. But Chris can Chris is KG smooth. Okay, Renisha out here answered these questions. Now, it seems like she'll get along with, <laughs> with Butter and BB, but if you get on their bad side, Butter and BB look like they ain't gonna have that. They're gonna protect Joel. But they asked her about her bringing in her three kids and Joel's two kids and having five kids. She's like, oh, I raised kids outside of mine, so I'm good with that. But when I'm done with a man, I'm done with a man. So Kyra, I mean not Kyra, Miss V, she answers the questions perfectly. And the girls are like, okay, I'm feeling that, I'm feeling that. Because all they want to do is make sure that their nieces and, and Butter's cousins are good with a new woman in the house and her kids. They want to make sure that they're getting treated fairly just like the other, well, her three children would be. Okay, Butter, okay, okay, niece Butter out here calling Joel out. Now, she is googly-eyed over Joel, we know that. But she said, hey, your last relationship, you said that was the same way in the beginning. So Butter, she's just looking out for her unk. Like, hey, unk, you got to be careful, man. I know women like this. I hang around women like this. You got to be careful. They can smile in your face, but they may not genuinely mean it. Now, from what I've seen, Venetia, she, she, she really means it. But you know the family is always going to look out. You always got to think what's the worst that can happen. We got Miss Sydney, Mama AJ, AJ, and we got Kyra coming. Now, this is going to be interesting because AJ tells his mom, I've been dating this girl, and uh, I, I want you to try to see where it's going between us, Mom, because I really can't figure it. I can't really see the, the end goal here, Mom. I need help. Mama AJ jumped straight into it. Uh, my son is 38, and uh, I'm looking for a grandbaby. What, what's happening? What, what, what we on? What, what kind of time we on here? AJ looking. We know Kyra was like, oh, no. I hate when my mom called me on Sunday. Hey, Julius, uh, I've been praying you meet a nice girl. Give me some grandkids. Mom, you got two grandkids right now. I'm not having none. Let me, let me get like three more years up under my belt and live a little bit. Mama Jason said, no, no, no. Let's talk finances right now. And Liz is like, okay, yeah, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I grew up, I went to private schools, but I'm also not that far away from real life and reality. I know to boil some water if I got to take a hot bath. You know what I'm saying? We used to have to do that when we were young. I ain't going to lie. Before my mama married my dad, me, my mom, my sister, we lived in the hood. 
Now, I ain't move out to the suburbs till like junior year in high school. So in between us living in the hood, my mom and dad get married and we living in the inner city. Yeah, <laughs> life was tough. <laughs> Mama AJ says, are you really ready to date? And she gives the explanation like we had a, a rough start. She brings up the date. Oh, we went on a date. I ended up having to pay. And his mama like, come on, AJ. You got to do better than that. Now, I'm the same way. If I go out on a date, I'm probably going to pay for it nine times out of ten. Unless it's just like somebody I've already been involved with. And she like, oh, I got it. But AJ didn't do it. And then his mom jumped on to Kyra's side. And Kyra was looking at that like, yes, his mom understands. So she... It, to me, it just seems like she's looking for excuses to get out of this. Anytime someone can agree with what she thinks AJ did wrong, then it's like, good, I'm winning this battle. But that's just me from my opinion. Uh-oh, Jason, we found a chink in your armor here. Your mom asked, uh, Liz, is there any way you can lead him without him knowing he needs to be led? And she's like, oh, well, you know, church, you know, God will tell me what I need to do to steer him in the right direction. Your mom is asking you to be led. Come on, Jason, you too old for that. You need to know what you need to do to be led. Now she can give you advice on what to do, but she don't need to be leading you. You gotta be the man of the situation, be the leader. Now I'm not saying he's not a leader, but his mom knows something we don't know about him. So that's why she's saying, maybe Jason does some things that he gets a little off course and he's gonna need some assistance. I don't know, but come on, Jason. She say, hey, mom, cut that, cut that. But the thing I like about Mama Jason is she's like my mom. She's looking out for the best interest. I was giving Jason a hard time, but she knows that Liz is probably going to slow him down and get him on track. Like, hey, Jason, get focused. You got this coaching stuff. Do your job. Do your coaching. Go home to a nice woman. Don't really be out here because he probably got led wrong by some women before. But his mom was right asking. She was right asking all of these questions. Liz handled them perfectly. All right, y'all, we started off with 20 contestants, 10 women, 10 men. We got it down to eight. We're about to find out who's really ready to love and who just pretended, because we only want the real here. Joel and Miss V, they get together. He got a, a bouquet of roses, and he's telling her, look, if I got to be real, you the reason I'm here. You, you the one I want to be with. And she's like, oh, thank you. She already knew that, though. She blushing a little bit, but... He wants to know, why did you choose me? Why did you choose me? Chris has some roses for Amber. And she's like, I know where we stand. We have a good connection. But he still has an opportunity to not pick her. He's been through this before. But we see Chris, whenever he's around her, he's always smiling. So from what I've seen this whole season, he's like, my mind is made up. I'm on Amber. Hopefully she's on the same thing and he doesn't get let down again. Now you have to peep the scenery, everybody. We have AJ and Kyra. Now everybody else is handing roses to the women. This scene, we have rose petals on the piano because he was playing that. Now, you're saying he talked to his mom. She's going to buy a lottery ticket because, you know, this just seems like luck and everything. And I know we had a rocky pass, a rocky pass, but I'm ready to see where it goes. Now, it gets to Kyra. And she's saying, well, yeah, it was rough in the start. And I, I do I do like you, but I don't, know, I don't know if we really know each other enough. So what have you guys been doing for 11 episodes? You haven't been trying to get to know this guy. You've just been holding on to him, playing him the whole time, leading him on because you thought you could play AJ and Jason. And then at the end, you could just pick one of them. <sighs> AJ, I hate to say it, but I've been saying it the whole season. This was never a good look to go back to. <sighs> good luck, my brother. See what I told you about the scenery? Everyone else is bringing roses to the women. Now Liz, she's saying she likes Jason and she's really ready to love. And guess what Jason is doing? He's pulling up with the white roses. Remember, he's only gave white roses to his mom and stepmom. And Liz got the third one. Now she gets a whole bouquet. And Liz, with all due respect, nice. Nice. I don't know what their relationship is outside the show, but Liz, Right on, Jason. Yep. <sighs> yep, next scene. <laughs> Phoenicia tells him, what I seen in you is the real you. I seen your heart. We may have had our little disagreements. My family got to meet you. They liked you. Your family met me. They seem like they like me. So that's why I'm picking you. And Joel and Phoenicia, hey. 
I changed my mind. These two might be one of the solid ones on this show. I thought it was Amber and Chris, but these two, yep, I can see them moving forward together. We know Chris chose Amber, but we want to know, does Amber feel the same way? And she admits that when they first got there, she didn't really show him no attention. She didn't pay him no mind, but he didn't catch her eye. She, she said that he caught her mind and that's why she's here because she chooses chris also so that's good i know chris is like thank you finally i got me one yes and it's good to see black couples man that's that's what this show is all about making couples and making them work let's just make this quick and, and painless as much as we can kyra looks at aj in the eyes and says we have a connection but if i had to say like right now <sighs> i say no i can't be your girl I said this the whole season. You made it to the end. You even said she didn't decide on who she wanted. And she had to wait to the end of the process. And you stuck with this. Damn. Just played yourself for what? 11 episodes? So let's say maybe two months. It sucks, my brother. But you got to be able to see these things. And we already know how Miss Liz gets around. Jason, Jason, Jason. <laughs> These two. Yeah, they say we're good to go. It's going to be you and I. We're making it past the show. So it's good to see them make it also. Congratulations. We got three couples selected. One couple, Kyra said no. Damn. Three out of four, 75%. I take that any day in my class. All right, there you go, episode 12. Now, are these three couples the ones you thought were gonna make it to the end? Or did you think Kyra and AJ were gonna make it also? Let me know, and we're gonna be here next week. I think it's next week for the finale. If not, I'll make sure to send out a, you know, a premiere so you guys can catch it when it comes out. But I'm Mo J. Thanks for watching. If you like the content on the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Thanks for watching, I'm out. Jimmy on the beat, boy.